anti-American UN report attacks America, calls us sexist, racist, classist. A report from the United Nations Human Rights Council accuses the administration of President Donald Trump of being racist, sexist, and classist. The report fails to describe the UNHCR as Marxist. As published on May 29, Nanaki I and the UNHCR's former special rapporteur on human rights proclaimed discrimination and biases by law enforcement on the basis of race, religion, gender and other prohibited factors are common in the United States. The new administration of President Donald Trump has talked of taking a radically different approach on all fronts, its engagement with the United Nations, its promotion of human rights abroad, and even its attitude towards fundamental rights domestically. The signals coming from the current administration including hateful and xenophobic rhetoric during the presidential campaign, threats and actions to lock out and expel migrants on the basis of nationality and religion, a dismissive position towards peaceful protesters, the endorsement of torture, intolerance of criticism and threats to withdraw funding from the United Nations, are deeply disturbing. The report adds. Racism and the exclusion, persecution and marginalization that come with it affect the environment for exercising association and assembly rights. Understanding this context means looking back at 400 years of slavery, the Civil War, the Jim Crow laws that destroyed the achievements of the Reconstruction era, and enforced segregation and marginalized the African American community to a life of misery, poverty and persecution. It means looking at what happened after Jim Crow laws, when old philosophies of exclusion and discrimination were reborn, which has resulted in a situation where one out of every 15 black men is currently jailed and one out of every 13 African Americans has lost their right to vote due to a felony conviction. 14. In contradistinction, Wall Street bankers looted billions of dollars through crooked schemes devastating the finances of millions of Americans and saddling taxpayers with a massive bailout bill. Meanwhile, crimes against workers, including wage theft, sexual abuse, union busting and more, remain rampant. Yet we do not hear of a war on Wall Street theft or a war on abuse of employers. Instead, criminal justice resources go towards enforcing a different type of law and order, targeting primarily African Americans and other minorities. As a result, there is justifiable and palpable anger in the black community that needs to be expressed. This is the context that gave birth to the non-violent protest movement Black Lives Matter and the context in which it must be understood. The report, in conclusion, is the usual Marxist shame fist, a long-winded diatribe promoting the rights of one group of people over another. What the UNHCR considers hateful and xenophobic in the eyes of Trump supporters is love of country and people. What the UNHCR calls threats to lock out and expel migrants is just good, common sense domestic policy created to protect Americans from the kind of savage violence that is sweeping across the UK and European Union. What the UNHCR describes as threats of withdrawal from the UN is something that is long overdue. The report's condescending lesson is that white people somehow owe people of color, POC, who will never forgive nor will they forget slavery and segregation that ended decades ago. We think the UNHCR is a profound thank you to white taxpayers on the hook for Wall Street bailout schemes made by our government to cover billions in lawyer loans made available to even the poorest migrant workers so that they, too, could achieve the American dream of home ownership. The UN's irrational fear of Donald Trump is rooted in the failure of globalism, the rise of nationalism, and the very real prospect that Pac will one day be truly free, which means being held responsible for their own lives and for their own successes and failures. failures.